Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren Clark and I'm a makeup artist. I'm going to be showing you today one of my very favorite all-time eye looks. This is a purple look that incorporates a brown crease. So the lid actually goes from dark to light to dark, which is one of my favorite color placements. And using purples mixed with browns is one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to show you how to do my favorite look. I've also done the same look using greens and blues and pinks and every other color in the spectrum. Pairing it with a brown crease really makes it a little more neutral and makes it a little bit more wearable so that you can wear bright colors and go out with it and not look a little bit crazy. So I really love using a brown crease mixed with bright colors and I especially love doing the dark light dark combination on the eye. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. So you're going to need a couple things to start out. You're going to need a concealer and then you're also going to need, if I can find it, a magenta creamy base. This is Madly Magenta from MAC Pro. It's a cream color base. If you don't have this, um, you can also use a magenta or hot pink lipstick. And what I use this for is a base underneath my purple eyeshadow. And even though this isn't necessarily the purple that I'm going to be going for, because it's so vibrant, it makes my eyeshadow in turn be very vibrant. So um, it really makes a big difference when you're using purple eyeshadows. So um, I'm going to use this on my lid, and then I'm going to put a concealer um, up to my brow, and I'm going to use that as my base. If you like to use a primer, then you can use that instead. I just prefer concealer because um, it kind of blocks out that redness and discoloration, and to me, you know, it doesn't crease on me, so it, it just works perfectly for me. And now I'm going to take the magenta cream color base. I'm using a 217. I really like the 217 for applying emollient products like this as a base. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I don't really want to put it into the crease because for this look I'm going to be using a brown in the crease. So just make sure you get the lid real good. You don't need a lot either. Just a really thin layer because you don't want it to crease. It doesn't have to be like an opaque magenta color. Just a little hint of it is going to be enough to do the job. Now I'm going to go through with my highlight color. I'm using a color called Dazzle Light and I'm just going to put that right underneath the brow. And now for the color on the lid. The very first color I'm going to do is the lightest color that's in the center and that's called Beautiful Iris. And when I do my dark, light, dark color placement where it's dark over here and then light in the center and then dark again. I like to do the light color with my eyes open, looking straight ahead so I look and see exactly where the iris of my eye is and just put the color directly over top of that. Once you have your color placement, you can close your eyes and finish the application. My next darker color is called Satellite Dreams. It's slightly darker than Beautiful Iris, and I'm going to put that on either side of the Beautiful Iris. Then my next darkest color is called Fig One. It is one of my favorite matte colors. I'm using a 219 brush and I'm just applying that right on the inner corner of my lid. I'm also going to do that right on the outer corner. And as I'm applying it, I'm just slightly patting the color on and then pulling it over a little bit to slightly blend. So this is how it looks so far. After I do the crease, I'm going to go back through and add a little bit more depth on either side of the lid. Now in my crease, I'm going to be using some browns. I'm going to start out with cork. And 
And now that I have cork in my crease, I'm going to go through with my blending brush, which is my 224, and I'm going through with the color called Wedge, which is slightly lighter than cork. Now I'm going to go back through with my Fig One and reapply it. Now I'm going to use a color that's even deeper and put that just on the very, very corners of the lid. I'm using a color called Shadowy Lady, but any very dark purple will work. Under the eye, I'm going to take my Satellite Dreams, which is kind of like my medium colored purple. And I'm taking a 219 brush and applying that right underneath my eye. My very last step for eyeshadow is taking a really light shimmery color. You can use a light shimmery um, purple or a pink. I'm using Pink Freeze. And just dot that right on the center of the lid. Now I've already done my foundation, now I'm going to contour and do my blush. For my contour I'm using a Studio Finish color corrector called Deep Brown and that's a cream base. So I'm using a 130 brush and I kind of diluted, diluted the product a little bit with some oil and I just go right underneath my cheekbones. I've been into using cream, cream colors for, for my contouring and highlighting recently just because I feel like it looks a little bit more like skin rather than powder. Now for my highlight I'm using the same technique, using the same brush. I mixed a little bit of the white full coverage foundation which is the same formula as Studio Finish Concealer. So I mixed some of the white and then NC15 concealer and I'm using that as my highlight. For my blush and my lips I'm going to be using a lip and cheek pot from Bobbi Brown. This color is called Blushed Rose and I just put it on with my finger and I just go right in between the highlight and the contour just to directly on the cheekbone and I kind of pat it. I don't sweep it on. I just pat it until it's nicely blended. For this look, you could you could use a pink blush, or you could use something more neutral, or you could use something in between. You could do whatever you wanted. And now I'm just using the same color on my lips. Now I'm filling in my brows. I'm just using a 266 brush and cork eyeshadow. So I've just added some mascara, and if you wanted to do some liner, you could do that too. I'm just going to skip it for today. And that's the conclusion of this tutorial. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks a lot.